Ever wondered how much power a single nuclear weapon holds? Well, to say it's massive would be an understatement. Nuclear weapons harness a level of destructive power that's hard to fathom. When detonated, they release a vast amount of energy in the form of light, heat, and a shockwave that can level cities. But the devastation doesn't end there. The fallout, or radioactive particles thrown into the atmosphere, can contaminate large areas for decades, causing long-term health issues and making regions uninhabitable. Imagine this. The energy released by a single nuclear weapon can be equivalent to millions of tons of TNT. That's more than enough to decimate an entire metropolis, a sobering thought indeed. And the source of this incredible, terrifying power, it all comes down to two key ingredients that, when combined, unleash a force beyond our wildest imaginations. So what gives nuclear weapons this immense power? Two key ingredients, red mercury and plutonium lithium. Red Mercury sounds like something out of a science fiction movie, doesn't it? Yet, it's a topic that sparked much debate and intrigue in the world of science. Red Mercury is a substance of uncertain composition. It's been portrayed as a miraculous compound, a powerful explosive, or even a cure-all elixir. But let's debunk some myths here. Red Mercury doesn't explode on its own, nor does it cure diseases. It's a compound that may contain elements like mercury iodide or mercury antimony oxide, which can be used in certain applications. Now, let's discuss its role in nuclear weaponry. Red mercury could be used to enhance the efficiency of a nuclear weapon. It's believed that when combined with a radioactive material, like plutonium, it can increase the yield of a nuclear explosion, making the weapon more devastating. Now that we understand red mercury, let's turn our attention to the second ingredient, plutonium lithium. Plutonium lithium, now, that's a mouthful, isn't it? Let's break it down to its basics. Plutonium is a radioactive chemical element, while lithium is a soft, silvery white alkali metal. When these two elements come together, they form a compound that is crucial to the destructive power of a nuclear weapon. Plutonium provides the fuel for the nuclear reaction, while lithium acts as a kind of catalyst. When the plutonium is hit by a neutron, it splits, releasing a tremendous amount of energy. The lithium, meanwhile, absorbs these neutrons, preventing them from causing a premature reaction. Together, these two elements create a controlled, yet immensely powerful explosion. A nuclear weapon's destructive force, then, comes from the careful balance and interaction between these two elements. So, plutonium-lithium is not just a mouthful, but also a handful, playing a key role in the functioning of a nuclear weapon. With our understanding of red mercury and plutonium-lithium, we can now grasp the immense power of nuclear weapons. With red mercury and plutonium-lithium, we're dealing with a deadly duo, Let's delve into the specifics of how these two substances work together in a nuclear weapon. Imagine a dance, where each partner plays a crucial role. Red mercury, the spark, initiates the fusion reaction. It's like the match that lights the fuse. On the other hand, plutonium-lithium, the fuel, sustains the reaction. It's like the wood that keeps the fire burning. When red mercury ignites, it triggers the plutonium-lithium, causing it to release a massive amount of energy. This energy is what drives the explosion and subsequent devastation of a nuclear blast. The dance of these two substances, the ignition and the fuel, is what leads to the colossal power of a nuclear weapon. It's a destructive ballet, choreographed by the laws of physics. The combination of these two substances is what gives nuclear weapons their terrifying power. So, what have we learned about the power behind nuclear weapons? We've delved into the formidable force of nuclear weapons, unraveled their science, and seen how they harness the power of the atom to unleash devastation on an unparalleled scale. We've also explored the unique roles of red mercury and plutonium lithium in this process. Red mercury, a substance shrouded in mystery, is believed to play a key part in the nuclear fusion process, making the reaction more efficient. Plutonium lithium, on the other hand, serves as a fusion fuel providing the immense energy needed to trigger a nuclear reaction. When these two substances come together, they can potentially create a nuclear weapon of immense power. But it's important to remember that alongside this power comes immense responsibility. 
Though these substances contribute to one of humanity's most destructive creations, understanding them helps us comprehend the science and the stakes behind nuclear weaponry.